Hi everybody, welcome back! Detention Center X! Oh man, what a place. What a hodgepodge <laughs> of rooms and facilities and stuff. Just keeping this place together. Man, Prison Architect is a fantastic game, isn't it? It's just had an update too. Alpha 20 is out. Uh, they've introduced failure conditions, which means that now um, there are consequences for being bad at managing a prison. Luckily, that came in after Detention Center X sort of leveled out uh, and is now working because I think maybe during the uh, riot period that we had a couple episodes back uh, uh, We would have been shut down. We would have been shut down by the government They would have moved in the uh, army or whatever and shut us down uh, Which would have been a shame, but here we are we live to tell the tale. There's all sorts of new stuff uh, in uh, Alpha 20 uh, There's this cool feature where if you let too many people die in your prison uh, you yourself get convicted as a criminal uh, and then you actually have to serve time in your own prison and you can control your little guy around uh, and it, all the fog of war stuff all works differently and it looks really really cool actually um, sadly uh, for existing prisons that were made before Alpha 20 uh, you can't get that uh, you can't have that happen uh, none of the failure conditions actually work uh, however uh, there's a whole bunch of new uh, things uh, alongside that including grading look at all this We've had zero prisoners released since the grading system has been put in. Once 10 are out, it'll tell us how we're doing. Uh, it measures things like uh, punishment for prisoners, uh, how well you punish them, and how, um, how much justice is dispensed, uh, how healthy you keep them, uh, how sort of uh, much exercise they get. All sorts of things that factors all into it and gives you some sort of overall rating and grading. And I think um, if you drop too low in any of those categories, it's a failure condition as well, which is kind of cool. Um, but there you go. Um, this is probably going to be the last session I do of uh, Prison Architect for now anyway, Detention Center X. Um, I mean, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I think we're going to finish off by uh, expanding out the maximum security wing. Uh, we'll try to bring our prison um, capacity up to about 100 people, 100 inmates. Uh, try to fill it up uh, and then we'll sell the prison, see how much it goes for. Um, and then I will retire. Uh, in uh, some sort of tropical paradise with all my money uh, and um, hopefully somebody just nukes this place um, so that these uh, prisoners don't get out into society uh, and start um, killing other people and stuff. Um, so there we go. Um, I've talked a lot. Let's let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's put some paving stones down here. Let's, let's spruce this up a bit. I mean, if we're going to sell the prison, it's got to look good. Uh, we also need to start planning out uh, how we're going to extend maximum security. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm thinking maybe we can just get rid of this one cell here and have like a, a corridor that comes up into here, which will connect up uh, some more uh, cells. We need a lot more cells. We need about what, 20, 23. We need 23 more cells to hit that capacity of 100. So let's try for it. Look, three. Uh, we'll try to have them sort of similar to the ones down here. And uh, we'll have to move this fence out of the way as well eventually. So this is going to be like a, an access hallway. Uh, let's have, uh, we'll have it like by three like that. And then look, we're going to do some planning. Holy shit. What the hell is going on here? It's King again. Look, it's Stratton King who was arrested for bringing the pain and suffering to the phys physically infirm. Jesus, he's in for 25 years on a murder charge. He's only served 5.3 years. He's got a lot of time left to go uh, in Detention Center X. Um, and he was just caught trying to s steal a spoon or a fork from the kitchen. Fucking, you can't trust these guys. I, I keep saying it, but it's true. They're, they're completely untrustworthy, and that's why part of the reason why they're in Detention Center X in the first place. Um, I mean, I've tried to build a prison based on trust, uh, and it doesn't work. The trust system does not work. It's like those old... Um, I don't know if you live somewhere where uh, there's a lot of farms around. I mean, I do. Even though it's a small island that I live on, uh, there are lots of farms. And there is a um, still, to this day, thriving potato industry. <laughs> Which sounds comical, but actually it's, it's, it's not. I mean, it, makes, it does make a lot of money. And it's probably a decent way to earn money uh, in the real world, if, uh, if that's your thing. But uh, we still have like this like sort of uh, trust and honor system on some of the uh, like country roads where people will set up like potato stalls uh, or just fruit and veg stalls. Farmers will set them up uh, and you can just sort of stop by and leave what you think <laughs> is owed uh, for said vegetables. Uh, so it goes without saying that, of course, 
I don't spend any money on groceries um, because I just go in my car, I go out into the country and uh, I steal uh, vegetables uh, from farmers. Don't tell them I said that though. I mean, I don't want anyone descending down upon my ass uh, from a great height and uh, taking me out uh, with with like a sniper rifle because farmers do have sniper rifles, I'm pretty sure. They need them for like badgers and other intruders uh, on their farms. and. Um, I'm not all about that. I'm totally not all about that. I don't want any of that noise uh, in my kitchen, maybe? No, I don't know. Um, but yeah, don't tell them. I steal. Well, I don't even steal. I'm just I'm just joking. It's, it is a funny system, though, isn't it? The old um, fruit and veg uh, honor system or, or trust system or whatever. Uh, it's very old-fashioned, uh, but quite endearing at the same time. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Uh, so there's 20. Okay, well, that's more than enough. We have more than enough. We should be able to cap it there. We'll have more than enough uh, cells to increase the capacity for maximum security prisoners. Uh, it's going to get... It's going to get rough, I think. It's going to be a rough ride uh, into the um, seedy world of maximum security. Let's also extend this fence up far. We're going to extend it up fairly far so that if they do try to tunnel out, they've got a ways to go. And actually... We could probably do with doing a shakedown again fairly. What the hell, guys? Come on. Who? Where's the? Where's the guard who's meant to be on patrol here? There is meant to be a guard on patrol here. Oh, somebody was saying that I'm a total bastard for not putting a chair in here for this guy that's on patrol. There. Sorted. <laughs> We've sorted it out. Let's get another CCTV monitor in here too, um, just so it it looks kind of like the um, the the Wizard of Oz's control room. Uh, and, and, of course, then we can add some more CCTV cameras up into this maximum security wing. Because I think it's going to be needed, actually. Because, um, uh, once again, I have no idea where these patrols have gone. Uh, apparently, you can assign not only dog patrols, but uh, real, guard, uh, real guards to patrol on the same routes as well. Uh, I mean, in saying that, it doesn't look like any of the dog patrols are... Where, where's all the dog patrols? Are all the doggies asleep? The fucking doggies are asleep. Alright, we're going to double up. On these patrols we're going to have not only a guard but dogs as well guard dogs on these patrols too and if we need to we'll hire some more guys to keep things nice and secure uh, where where else do we want do we want some more some are there guards here have all the patrols broken there don't seem to be any guards on patrol right now somehow or, or maybe they're just all having a break are they all having a break they could be armed patrols uh, these things have icons now. This was an armed patrol, wasn't it? Yep. And uh, this one was too. Look at that. Look at the red shotgun. Now you know. Now you know where the guards are on patrol, the heavily armed guards. That's pretty cool. I find that pretty cool. Um, all right. We're going to have to move this guy. Oh, shit. Look who it is, too. It's fucking Stratton King. Stratton King, your cell, unfortunately, is in the worst position ever. I don't think there's any free cells for you, so we're going to have to put you into the holding cell. Uh, and then we're going to dismantle your actual cell. There. Look, it's gone. Sorry about that. I mean, I say I'm sorry. Not actually sorry about that, Stratton King. Um, look, we're going to take all of this stuff down. We're even going to take the light out. Uh, and we're also going to uh, demolish this wall. There we go. Look, that's going to be great. All right. Uh, and while that is happening, let us also have uh, this fence built. Look, we're going to start building this fence so that it's nice and secure. And then once this fence is built, we can then start working on this other wing, uh, which of course is going to give us uh, cell block C and 20 grand. That's exactly what we need right now. We really do need 20 grand right now and a cell block C. I mean, this is already cell block C, but it's kind of small uh, and it'll be much bigger soon. It'll be filled with all these hardened criminals and things are just gonna get absolutely crazy. Um, but it'll be fine. Uh, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Look, we're going to take this window down too, because that whole wall's going to come down before long. And did I... Is that... No. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just in a box. So look at this guy. He's just like mopping up around here. Good work. Who's this guy? Mathwani. Holy shit. Sentenced to 24 years for multiple crimes, including armed robbery, armed robbery, and perjury. Wow. He's only got a dad. A seven-year-old dad. Uh, and he's um, serving 53 years of his life. Uh, for said crimes. Holy shit. 53 years. Aston Mathwani. Math 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 that, uh, that is some crazy shit. Uh, I think actually we're going to need to redeploy our guard here. Um, where is it? There we go. Yeah, I think they have actually broken. 
Uh, do we want to have... Wh what was this? We don't fucking need this. <laughs> we don't need that patrol route. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Actually, I don't even think we really need this one either. Look at this one goes in through the... Oh, God. I think what we're going to do, instead of actually having a route here, is we're just going to... Oh, look. Somebody's already deployed to that yard. Uh, this yard... Uh, I guess this doesn't have a door, so this is all connected, uh, which was... Wow, I don't know if you remember, I was getting pretty frustrated by that. And we have a guard deployed to this yard as well. Okay, that's fine. That'll work fine. And all the CCTV cameras should be online now. And we actually have capacity for three more. Fantastic stuff. Okay, cool. This fence is almost done. Uh, once it's done, we can then take down uh, these fences. Uh, these two, fucking two layers of fences. I mean, these guys aren't getting out. No way. I mean, unless they sort of, uh, you know, dig into one of the uh, mains water pipes. Uh, and then crawl through the water pipe. I don't know. I mean, I've seen that happen in movies before. And I'm, I'm sure it does happen in real life. I mean, on that topic, actually, um, I was I was kind of interested in seeing if, you know, people actually did escape from jails in real life. Because I know, like, uh, it, in a fictional setting, yeah, they do. Uh, because it makes for riveting television or whatever. But, I mean, I, I still need to do that. I still need to look on, like, Wikipedia or something and find out if this kind of stuff actually happens in real life. Because it's kind of crazy when you think about it. I mean, if you were serving, like, 53 years of your life in prison, I guess maybe you would try to escape as well. I, I know I would. I don't know how I would do it. Maybe I would just, like, rub my toothbrush against the wall until it weakened over the course of 53 years and then maybe just, uh, you know, just stroll out or whatever. Or just, uh, you know, play some, like, really clever, like, mind game with, like, the warden and the guards and stuff and just, like, fucking totally Kaiser Soze my ass, like, out of that prison or something over the course of 50 years. I don't know. I mean, I don't actually have, like, a legitimate plan for escaping a prison, but I've just always been intrigued. I mean, so intrigued that actually, um, you know, combined with my laziness, I haven't actually looked it up. But one day, <laughs> mark these words, I will look it up. I will look up if people actually do escape from prisons in real life, and I will enjoy myself. I will enjoy the ever-loving shit out of that experience when I actually have um, the time to do it. Uh, and, I mean, I do have time to do it. I, like I said, I'm just lazy. Holy shit. Fucking bacon is on the menu uh, in medium security. Uh, what's on the menu for minimum security? It looks like a mixture of bacon and cabbage. Uh, which is quite nice. Are we actually feeding everybody here? It looks like we are actually. Look at all the look at all the meals uh, compared to the prisoners. I think we're getting a hundred percent on meal delivery into the mouths of our prisoners, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, with the expansion of cell block C coming, I'm thinking that maybe we could possibly actually expand out maximum security's kitchen a little bit as well. Uh, we could probably get some more cookers in. Let's get two more cookers in. And uh, maybe just another fridge. We'll have another fridge so that we can store even more food in here. And then, of course, we've got the trusty old sink uh, where Stratton King uh, washes not only the dishes, but his butt every night because he's too scared to go into the shower room. Uh, he wears a phone book underneath uh, his jumpsuit, his prison jumpsuit, just in case people try to stab him wherever he is. And he no longer visits the shower room because it's unsafe for him. Uh, he's a wanted criminal with gang connections in the outside world and people will try to stab him. So what he does in the middle of the night is he sneaks into the kitchen and washes his butt in that sink. And then of course everybody has to eat from plates that have been washed in that sink after Stratton's butt's been in there. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about it. It is absolutely disgusting, but unfortunately it's necessary for Stratton King to live his life. Uh, and he has a long life left to live inside Detention Center X. The poor guy. Well, I mean, he probably deserves it, actually. Uh, it'll be interesting to see over the course of uh, building out this cell block uh, C, or actually just um, expanding it out, whether or not uh, we can get this grading up. Look at that. We've already had two people released out of the ten that we need so that we can get a final grading. 